Okay guys, if you're like me, you've recently come down with the Metacycle Fever and there is no cure in sight for at least another year until this thing gets delivered to people's doorsteps. Just when we thought COVID was bad enough, now we've got to deal with Metacycle Fever. Oh boy. All right, so let's get right into it. Storm Saunders, I hope you watch this video. Here are five things I hope slash you need to include in this in this bike. Details are, are limited on this bike on what's exactly included, but just off of the spec sheets that I've seen and videos that I've seen and the press release that he did, these are the things that haven't been talked about, so I really hope that he includes in them. And number one, I hope that Saunders includes an app for it. I hope they use a Bluetooth controller and they come up with an app so you could use your phone with it and you could control it and it'll give you like real-time data as far as like power consumption. If you're a data nerd like me, you want I want to see how many watts I'm using and break it down to like how many watt hours per mile I'm using and then give me like an average and then that way I could get an estimated range, like a detailed one. Don't give me a fuel gauge with like six bars that give me a rough estimate of how much range I have left. Those things are useless. I want to have imperial data. I want to show me numbers and hopefully it'll be accurate. Branching off of this app is idea number two. There needs to be some sort of security device for this bike because this thing weighs 200 pounds. This thing is just begging to be stolen, especially in like high risk metro areas. 200 pounds is nothing for two dudes in a pickup truck to just go Weak. So I hope they put in good security system in it, which doesn't cost a lot of money. Just put like a high decibel alarm system and put in like a GPS device in there so you could track it with the app. So you could see wherever it is. If someone does steal it, like if you live in New York City or something like that, that thing is getting stolen. It would be nice to be able to control your bike to lock up the front and rear tires so that they don't move and you know steering lock as well and then you could if it triggers it once you're locked it'll go off like a hysterical person and you could track it and see exactly where it is in real time like hide that gps device somewhere like in the frame where it's not easily accessible at all and maybe randomly change it in different designs so that if someone finds it in one part put it in the swing arm one time put it in the outsmart those smarty thieves you know something similar to like what the boomerang gps for bicycles is doing right now which is a cool thing by the way if you're looking for something for your bicycle like that and I know a lot of you guys are like well what are they gonna do with a bike if they steal it you know if it's all locked up you can't ride it or anything you can't unlock it the parts you just strip the parts you could get the for the rear wheel the motor it's probably 500 bucks you could take the battery out if you didn't I know it's removable but if you left the battery in it people get a pretty penny for that just they'll strip all the parts off of it and sell it on eBay security system I also would like to see regenerative regenerative regen <laughs> Regen brakes. And it'd be nice to be able to control that from the app of like how powerful, like the settings, you could set that those regen brakes too. So you could kind of dial in how much power gets put back to the battery from the brakes. That's gonna help with maintenance as well. You'd probably never have to replace your brake pads ever if you had like a really strong regen brake system. You really don't wanna have it set hard on that rear tire. You don't wanna be braking hard on that rear tire <laughs> essentially often. So, but just a light regen would be nice. Also, I'd like to see some options for that little hole that little tank hole what you're gonna put in that hole it'd be nice to see some like oem options i don't know maybe like a powered cooler or heater something you could like put like a single can of soda in there or something keep it nice and cool while you're riding it's not very big that's probably all you could fit in there but i don't know it'd be cool to be able to fit something in there it feels like that's like wasted trunk space so maybe someone could come up with something I'm, I'm sure there'll be people out there third party or on etsy designing stuff with their 3d printer and the last thing storm listen to me hide that rear motor cable, put it in the swing arm. There's gotta be a way, just lengthen it a little bit, make a little hollow raceway inside that swing arm, hide it in there and then put a plate on there. I know if it's like, oh, if you gotta remove it, it's too hard. If you've ever replaced a, a rear hub scooter wheel and you've had to take off a bunch of crap just to get to the rear wheel, it's a pain, but it's totally worth it than having that little wire hanging out. I think it just looks gross. And also it, it could be a potential hazard. For me, I know I'm gonna snag that thing when I take that thing off road which you better believe I'm gonna get a set of at least 50-50 knobbies and put it on that thing. That thing is a dirt biker's dream. 200 foot-pounds of torque and the thing doesn't even weigh 200 pounds. I don't know what kind of foot-pound to torque to pound bike ratio that is, but that's pretty good. It's over one to one, which is insane. But other than that, I'm not complaining. I think that bike is, ugh, so, so many people are just salivating over it right now, including me. That is, it's gonna be a game changer, I think. I really think it is. Hopefully the quality they make on it is gonna be good. 
They don't cheap out. Storm is really good at buying things in bulk and putting things together and doing the impossible. So kudos to you, Storm. Now let's see that uh, three-wheeled car come to production already. All right, guys, check out my other videos. I got a bunch of e-bike stuff. I like making high-powered, dangerous e-bikes. Um, check out my other videos for those if you're in, into stuff like that.